for Firefly Festival 2020 this June over at, uh, at the Woodlands in Dover, Delaware. Wow. Oh, my gosh. So I'm seeing this with you guys, potentially, if you haven't looked at the lineup yet. I'm seeing this for the first time. I'm literally looking right now uh, to see, and I'm really excited about what it is I'm seeing right now. So, literally oh, geez, looking, that's weird. There's, like uh, let me uh, mute see. that so I can read your comments and we can go through this together. So, okay, who is up first? So we have got, oh, geez, looking, that's weird. There's, okay. Let's mute that. That's really annoying. There we go. Okay. Technical difficulties. There's 17 of you. Welcome. Drop your name. Let me know. Hey, Joseph. Joey St. Pierre. What's up? So Firefly. Rage Against the Machine is headlining. Uh, Khalid. Wow. It's like they have, like, this is awesome. Billie Eilish. Hot off of her Grammy win. Billie Eilish. That is a really huge get for Firefly. I mean, Firefly is huge as it is, but especially right off her literally historic Grammy win. That is so cool. I'm so excited. Blink-182. That's going to be awesome. Halsey, another huge one. Hey, Jasmine. Welcome. Are you excited about the lineup? Did you see it? So, so far we have Rage Against the Machine, Khalid. We have Billie Eilish, Blink-182, uh, Halsey, Maggie Rogers, Cage the Elephant, Church's Black Bear. I'm so excited. What's up, Steve? Welcome. Black, I, I love Black Bear so much. I am so excited to see him now. Elenium, David Lee Roth. That's an interesting choice. Uh, Diplo. Hey, Diplo. Love, love, love Diplo. That is going to be Sweet. I'm so excited to see Diplo. We have Run the Jewels. Awesome, awesome, awesome act. Hip hop act. Rainbow Kitten Surprise. Kali Uchis. Uh, Lil Dicky. That is awesome. Lil Dicky is going to be great. Jasmine is excited for Blink 182. Halsey. What else did you say? Bryce Vine. Black Bear. I'm so excited for Black Bear too. And Halsey. And Blink 182. And Bryce Vine. Jason James, you happy with the lineup? Hey, Teresa Parkhill. So this is an awesome... Big Boy, what? Big Boy, that is awesome. Space Jesus, Noah Cyrus, Miley Cyrus's sister. She's got some pretty interesting music that she's been releasing. Cash Cash, what? This is an awesome lineup. Sarah, <laughs> Sarah. you're excited for her, Sarah? You're excited for Noah Cyrus? So welcome, there's 20 some of you now. Uh, this is an awesome, awesome, awesome lineup. I Rage Against the Machine, people have been talking about hoping that Rage was going to headline Firefly, and here we are, <laughs> Sarah. Uh, <laughs> you threw me off there. Jason James says Rage, Khaled, Billy, Kaliuchis and Dominic Fike are some of my favorites. Yeah, that is, this is an awesome, awesome, awesome lineup. I am, I think, most excited for Diplo and Black Bear, personally. I mean, Billie Eilish, obviously, it'd be awesome to see her. Uh, Blink-182, Khalid, Rage Against the Machine, Halsey, Maggie Rogers, Cage the Elephant, Churches, um, Run the Jewels. But personally, my... The, the two that I am so excited for. Oh, Tovlo, Bryce Vine. I'm like missing them. Uh, the band Camino, Cash Cash, K Flave, Space Jesus, Trevor Daniel, Neon Trees. What? How did I miss this? Because I got so excited from all the other ones that I didn't read the whole thing. We have Anna Lund. We have Cub Sport, Day Glow, Gashi, Glorious Sons, Leaf Volbeck. Uh, the Unlikely Candidates, Whipped Cream, 99 Neighbors, Turnover, J.J. Wild, Missio, Choir, 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 Cat Dealers, Bad Flower. I am really, really, really excited about this lineup. So Rage, Khalid, Billie Eilish, we're at 27 of you now. Join in, 
So what are you excited about? Who are you most excited to see? 28 of you, we're just growing here. 29, join in guys, let me know. Who are you excited to see? What do you think about the lineup? Did you get your tickets already? What is going on? So uh, I, like I said, I am, I, I'm gonna explode with excitement about Diplo and Black Bear. Those are my two, like, musts this year. Lil Tekka and Billy, yeah, Tyler. Welcome, Jimmy. Brenda says she can't wait. Me either, this is gonna be awesome. Really, really awesome. So of course, this is June 18th to the 21st. And so it's four days this year, back to four days because, you know, three days is not enough. I'm most excited to see the tickets you got for me. I'm sorry, Rick. Uh, um, I couldn't read your comment. I have no idea what that says. <laughs> but we are going to be doing some giveaways in our countdown to Firefly. So you will have an opportunity to ticket for tickets. We don't have tickets yet, but we will like very soon, as in in the next few days that we're going to start, you know, getting contests and all that going. I, this is such a strong lineup. I'm really excited. And I feel like it really gets like, you know, every avenue of music, no matter what type of music that you're looking for, uh, you got it. Rage, I mean, like Rage is, a, is you know, an iconic group all to themselves. And you have Billie Eilish, like I said, just came off her huge, huge, historic Grammy win. And you can't, you know, like what a huge get that, what, two days ago, she made this historic sweep at the Grammys, and now she's gonna be headlining at Firefly in Delaware, our own home state of Delaware, in June, June 18th to June 21st at the Woodlands in Dover Downs. Halsey, awesome pop act, join the Firefly fan, uh, fan page on Facebook, of course, Jimmy, you know I'm already a fan there. Such an awesome group of people, and I really wanna say, Jimmy and Michael, you guys like have built this community over on the Firefly uh, fan page that is unbelievably welcoming, unbelievably awesome, just so supportive of each other. People I've read that, you know, and I've seen it myself, people that are going to Firefly alone have posted on the Firefly fan page and other people are like, oh, come meet up with me. Oh, come hang out with us. Oh, let's go get food. Like it's insane, the community that you guys have built. So huge, huge, huge props to you guys for building such an awesome, positive, supportive community because we need more of that. So again, that is the Firefly lineup for 2020. 92.9 Tom FM is gonna have your tickets leading up to Firefly. Of course, we're gonna be the only station around, the only station in Delaware that will have all of your access directly to Firefly. So I'm gonna be interviewing a bunch of the talent like I did last year for Pop Culture Weekly on iHeartRadio and 92.9 Tom FM. So make sure that you lock it here. We're gonna be doing a ton of um, coverage leading up to the big show. I am so excited for this lineup. Diplo and Black Bear, I cannot wait, I cannot wait, I cannot wait. This is so awesome. Great job to the Firefly crew. Great job to Jimmy and Michael at the Firefly fan page. You guys are awesome. Thanks for hanging out with me. Keep it going in the comments. I'm gonna keep talking to you uh, through the comments. Let me know what you're excited for. Let me know who you are most excited to see. Who have you seen before? Who haven't you seen before? And when are you gonna be there? Because we're gonna get up and say, hello to each other at Dover, at the Woodlands in Dover, June 18th through June 21st. We out. I love you guys. Let's keep talking about this. Seriously, keep on talking in the comments. Anybody else have anything they want to say before, before I go? Jimmy, Rick. <laughs> Rick, you got quiet all of a sudden. Uh, <laughs> Brenda. To, oh, okay. We're spiking again with people. So who are you guys excited to see? I'm Black Bear and Diplo. Those are my two huge, I will be there at the front, like hanging on every note for those two artists. Um, I'm also really excited to see Billie Eilish. Halsey will be cool. Of course, Rage Against the Machine. Khalid, like 
how can you not love Khaled? He's so awesome and a huge get. David Lee Roth, he is like the, I, I want to, can anybody help me out? He, he was like, wasn't he the guy that, um, he was in like a band uh, that I'm like completely drawing a blank at. Um, let me see, what does Wikipedia say? He was in Van Halen, my God. He was in Van Halen. So I, I'm assuming he'll be doing Van Halen songs and I believe he had some solo songs as well. Craig Messick says Bryce Vanya, he's gonna be awesome. Black Bear, that's my boy. Craig, you and me are gonna be there watching it. We in it to see Black Bear. And Khaled, I'm excited to see Khaled too. Actually, those are three of my favorites. And Diplo, thank you, Brenda. I was wondering, I was struggling there. I had to go to Wikipedia. And I, and I think, Brenda, he has some solo hits too, right? Let's see, David Lee Roth, back to Wikipedia. What's he have here? He's got, oh yeah, um, Just Like Paradise. Is that the song that I'm thinking of? Oh no, that's Almost Paradise. Uh, let me see what David Lee Roth, this is horrible and it, it's just a testament to my lack of knowledge of Van Halen. And I know they're a huge band and I know their songs, but I'm just not, can't name them off the top of my head. So let's see, his solo songs, oh, California Girls, yeah, of course. I Ain't Got Nobody, of course I know that. Yankee Rose, Easy Street. So um, yeah, and Just Like Paradise, which is not the song that I was thinking of, but uh, that is cool. So David Lee Roth is, I mean, huge. Churches, I'm really excited to see them. Lil Dicky, Lil Dicky is awesome. He's so funny and he's very, very smart with what he does. So I love him. Again, Black Bear Diplo, I will be there like in the front. Eyes on you. It's starting to sound creepy. Anyway, I'm excited for them. Uh, who else? Who are, Did you guys get your tickets already? Craig, did you get your tickets already? Because um, that is an incredible lineup. Why no excision? I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe, you know, they were booked. Maybe I'm not. I have no clue of what's going on, you know, behind the scenes regarding why artists or could or couldn't perform. Um... Bryce Vine is going to be awesome. Big boy. That is awesome. C uh, cash, cash. Like, so cool. And Mike, maybe somebody can help answer, you know, in, in the credits. Can't go wrong with the DJs. Elenium. Oh, my God. Craig. Are you me, Craig? Can't go wrong. Yeah. Elenium. R.L. Grimes. I'm really excited. Cash, cash. I'm really excited. Craig, I think you're me. I promise to you guys that it's not me typing here. But he's literally... Nice. Craig's got his ticket already. Who else has your ticket? Who else has their tickets? Uh, we are going to be doing um, in our countdown to Firefly over the next five months. We're going to be doing our uh, ticket giveaways. So, you know, stay tuned for that. And of course, Pop Culture Weekly, my show, has always got you covered for the latest in pop culture news and celebrity interviews. So, of course, once again this year, I will be interviewing a lot of the talent that is performing at uh, Firefly 2020. Last year, I interviewed um, everybody. Max, Walk the Moon, Lovely the Band, Shade, Kid Quill, um, uh, Dashboard Confessional, you know, probably 20 of the artists. Uh, Mike Lafon says, I like that there's more dubstep this year. Yes. So do I. It's, it, they really, really, really did an amazing job with the variety of talent that they have this year. There's something for everybody this year, literally everybody. Loud Luxury, I must have missed that before. Cold War Kids, Lil, Te uh, Lil Tecca. Like, uh, somehow, I guess in all of my excitement, I miss some of these. We'll definitely be looking for the giveaways. Yeah, yeah, bro. You know, we got you right here at 92.9 Tom FM and our, on all of our socials. You know, any contests that we do, we do them on our socials too. So make sure that you are locked in right here with us. Um, so let's keep the combo. Yeah, Christina, isn't that an awesome lineup? I'm so excited. Christina Noel, what a lineup, she says. So yeah, I'm really excited. Like I said, Diplo, uh, Black Bear, huge, huge, huge for me. Bryce Vine, like, uh, I mean, I, I can't go on enough about how excited I am for them. This is gonna be an awesome, awesome, awesome time. I cannot wait for June, uh, for June 18th for the lineup, to, for the uh, experience to start. And of course, tickets 
will be going on sale this Friday. So if you have not secured your tickets through a giveaway or whatever, tickets are being uh, going for sale on Friday morning. So make sure that you do that. Y'all see me out there, just look for the free hug guy. Yeah, hit me up, Craig. We will, uh, I live 30 minutes away, Mike LaFon says, can't wait. Yeah, me either. I am so hyped for this. Kevin Maloney, great lineup. Yeah, they really killed it this year. Craig, make sure you come see me. I'll be roaming around. Oops, I lost my comments. There we go. Um, I'll be roaming around Firefly doing interviews with both the talent and the uh, you guys, the festival goers, because that's like half of the fun is hanging out with you guys and seeing what you are doing, uh, <laughs> what you guys are up to, which sometimes surprises me. So Joanne Venables Fuller says where, um, this is for Firefly 2020, which will be at the Woodlands at Dover Downs in Dover, Delaware. So it is June 18th to June 24th, 21st, four days this year, and the tickets go on sale on Friday. So if you haven't gotten your tickets some other way, they have a program. Absolutely, bro, come find me or hit me up on, um, on I almost said Craigslist, on uh, Facebook. Don't hit me up on Craigslist, geez. Um, that's my other career. Uh, hit me up on Facebook and you know we'll meet, I'll come interview you and we'll get you up. Uh, Joanne, so Firefly 2020, we're doing the reveal for the lineup. So people are really, really excited. All of the uh, comments have been so hype. Everybody's really excited about this lineup. I mean, AEG and, and those folks with Firefly have just killed it this year. They killed it. That's how good it is. They didn't kill it. They killed it. So <laughs> that is our Firefly 2020 coverage. And thank you guys for hanging out with me. Keep it going in the comments. I'll be continuing to talk to you all day. And now we're spiking again with viewers. Every time I go to say I'm leaving, we get a spike in viewers. So maybe it's me. Maybe it's me. If I remove, nope, now we're going up again. So uh, anyway, Every time I say we, <laughs> it just goes up and up whenever I say I'm leaving. Uh, so in any event, to the new people that have joined us, what are you most excited about? This lineup is sweet. I am so excited. Rage, like Rage Against the Machine. What? Uh, Billie Eilish, I cannot, like that is so huge, 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 huge for Firefly. I mean, which is already a massive, huge, you know, internationally known festival, but it's huge for, you know, them to get her right after this Grammy win. I mean, she swept the Grammys, swept the Grammys. Jason Guajardo says, rage. Yeah, people are really excited about that. That's going to be awesome. Jada Leon says, Billy and Housley. Yeah, isn't that cool? Two huge pop artists. Oh, Candy, you missed the lineup. That's all right. We got you, girl. Rage Against the Machine. Billie Eilish, Halsey, Khalid, Blink-182, Maggie Rogers, Churches, Diplo, David Lee Roth, Run the Jewels, Cage the Elephant, Black Bear, Lil Dicky, The Struts, R.L. Grime, Group Love, uh, Tovlo, Cold War Kids, Nightmare. Jada says, I cannot believe they got Billie. I'm so excited I could cry. Isn't that awesome? I'm so happy for you. I'm happy for me because I'm going to be able to get to see her. And again, she just won like uh, 12 Grammys or something between her and her brother the other night, like insane. And she swept all the main categories, which is very historic. I think she was the youngest person to ever win all the major categories in one night. Mike LaFon Nightmare is gonna be awesome. Y yeah, I'm really hyped for Nightmare. Mary Sipple says, sweet lineup. I agree, didn't they? They did so incredibly awesome this year. There was something for everybody. There is like multiple things for everybody. I've named seven things that I can't wait for. I'm going to say it again. Diplo, Diplo, I cannot wait for Diplo. I might die of excitement. Literally might die of excitement. Black Bear, I cannot wait for Black Bear. I might die again from excitement. After I see Diplo, I'm going to be revived and then I'm going to die when I see Black Bear again. Uh, sweet lineup. Mary says, need to get my tickets. They are on sale Friday morning. 
And, um, and uh, you know, you can get your tickets from Firefly.com if you haven't, you know, won them or you don't win them from us. But, or, you know, whoever, they have different programs and stuff for volunteers. But to secure your ticket, you'll want to buy them on Friday because you know this is going to be sellout. It's going to be sellout instantly. Candy says, uh, that does sound like a bad... Okay. I'm not sure what's happening. There's some kind of emergency sound. Ignore that. I'm hoping that I'm supposed to be ignoring that and it's not something bad that I'm supposed to be paying attention to. But uh, let's see. Candy says, that does sound like a badass lineup. I wish Chance was coming back again. He will. You know he will. Chance was incredible. Oh, okay. This is the... I'll just wait. Okay, so that was the monthly test of the emergency alert system, which apparently comes through here. Uh, Jada says, this is going to be quite a weekend to remember. Hell of a 21st birthday celebration. Hey! Happy birthday, Jada! Uh, well, happy soon-to-be birthday. Is it? Is it your birthday weekend? <laughs> Luke says the test is good. Yes, sir, bro. <laughs> Went through a okay. It scared the crap out of me, but uh, <laughs> the test was good. Uh, <laughs> so, Luke, what do you think about the lineup? Jada, tell me when are when's your birthday? Candy, yeah, I I Ch Chase will come back. Thanks. And what? Jada says it's going to be her twenty first birthday on Firefly weekend, June eighteenth through June twenty first. What? That is awesome. You got to come find me and, and you know, during Firefly and we're going to get up and I'll give you a shot or a drink or something Well, for your 21st birthday. Craig says, like, what's up? So that's awesome, Jada. Happy birthday to you. What a way to celebrate it, too. You're going to be celebrating it during actual Firefly. Like, what day do you turn 21, Jada? Um... Because that is awesome. Why isn't Tame Paul on the list? And why am I crying in the club? Nick Hood? I don't know. Who knows? You know, Tame might have been booked or he might have another festival date within that range or however they do it. Uh, Jada says, technically it's the 22nd, but we're celebrating all month. I would be too. Oh my God, thank you so much. I will find your tent. Yeah. Or um, find us on Facebook or hit me up on Facebook at Kyle McMahon or at Real Kyle at Real Kyle McMahon on Facebook, and um, I'll come find you. And I would be celebrating all month too for my 21st birthday. In fact, I think I celebrated all year for my 21st birthday. In fact, I am still celebrating um, for my 21st birthday. So, uh, what do you, so who else are you guys excited to see? What are you thinking? Um, who is getting up at the butt crack of dawn? on Friday to get your tickets to make sure that you are ready to go on all your devices, got them all ready to buy your tickets. Um, let me know. Space Jesus, I'm really excited about him too. Neon Trees, like what? I'm really excited about, this is such, like I just keep looking at the lineup and it's such a good lineup. Will do, you're the bestest. Everyone find me and celebrate with me. Yes, everybody find Jada. It is her birthday, 21st birthday weekend during Firefly. Like, wow, that is a beautiful disaster waiting to happen. And I am hype to see it. And I mean that with the best, you know, with the best of intentions, you're going to have a killer time turning 21 the weekend of Firefly. So what, what else do you guys think? Um, every time I say I'm going, we spike in viewers. So I'm, I'm afraid to say I'm going to go. And we'll keep the convo going in the comments because we'll end up with 500 viewers again. So, um, so and see, I said it and then it starts going up. It's like um, Facebook hates me. I say I'm getting off and they're like, hey, let's send more people to watch. So Tovlo is really cool. RL Grind, that is going to be sick. Rainbow Kitten Surprise, Run the Jewels. I'm excited to see them. Who is your most surprising Who's your most surprising reveal for Firefly? Who are you most surprised to see? 
I am, I, I have to say, Billie Eilish is, that's shocking to me because, I think just because of that historic Grammy win. Me! Hey, girl! Thanks for hanging out and watching. So, you know, this really is, they, they just cover everything here. And don't forget, by the way, you can sign up for the pre-sale on Firefly's website, which is fireflyfestival.com. You can sign up for the pre-sale. You will get a immediate notification on when tickets go on sale. And you know, you're gonna want like all your, you know, this is, I, I do this sometimes with things. You're gonna want all of your devices out and ready to go already at fireflyfestival.com. So once that time turns, you are absolutely golden and you got multiple chances to go to get your tickets. Me, Lynn says, I love Firefly. Me too. Craig says, don't miss whipped cream in the undercar. She has great sets. Okay. I've never seen her and it, I thought it might be interesting. So that's, I'm hyped to see her now. Jada says, I haven't heard from Neon Trees in a long time. And I think they'll be sick live. I agree. Like Neon Trees, what? I'm excited about Neon Trees. Um, let's see. Like everybody talk, I, like I, uh, I love that song. I'm actually saying if they have an album coming out and they don't have an announced album coming out, but maybe they will for in, um, in conjunction with Firefly, that would be sweet. But I'm excited, even if they don't have a new album coming out, I'm excited to listen to um, them live, even, you know, with their the three albums they have. So uh, Everybody Talks is like my jam. Sleeping with a Friend, Animal, such a good... Cash Cash, yeah, Cash Cash is sick. I am so excited for Cash Cash. I'm so... And I know I keep talking about Diplo and Black Bear. I cannot wait. And uh, I just, I cannot wait to see them. What else? What else are you guys thinking? This is, I mean, this is really, honestly, really exciting. And now I can't wait till June 18th. But of course, on Pop Culture Weekly, my show with iHeart, and on 92.9 Tom FM, we're going to be doing a countdown to Firefly. So we'll have all your coverage, all the latest news, all your do's and don'ts, what to bring, what not to bring. We're going to be highlighting, you know, some of the artists as we go do Firefly Artist Spotlights. And of course, we are the only station, only station in Delaware that has your Firefly access. So I will be interviewing many of the lineup for Firefly 2020 just for you. And some of it will be live right from Firefly, right to Facebook and all of our socials, YouTube and and uh, Instagram and Twitter and all that stuff. Um, so we will be interviewing the talent. I'm really excited for that. As I said, last year, we interviewed a ton of the talent. I, I, uh, I talked to Max, who I absolutely love, my homie. He is such a genius. Um, we interviewed, uh, who else did I do? I'm like, I'm so excited about the lineup that I, I just keep, you know, falling over my own words. So uh, Walk the Moon, Shade, Lovely the Band, um, AWOL, Na or, uh, AWOL Nation, um, who, who else? Somebody help me if you've seen them. And you can go check out my interviews either on Pop Culture Weekly on the podcast, which is wherever you get your podcast, just like the iHeartRadio app, or um, head on over to our socials and all the videos are there. Actually, a bunch of the videos are on our Facebook, 92.9 Tom FM. Click on videos and you'll see Kyle at Firefly 2019 or something. There's a bunch of the interviews video-wise there that you can see. Um, Big Boy, like what? what? That set is gonna be killer. Has anybody seen Big Boy live before? I'm curious if it's like a, a full band, like what kind of set does he do? And is he doing like outcast stuff too? Like what's going on? You know, what, what's he do? I'm really excited to see that. He had an album, um, or he was in uh, the Scream TV show on MTV uh, and VH1 last year, I think it was. So, uh, oh, but he does actually. He has a, uh, his last album was called Boomiverse. That came out in 2017. So there's rumors of new music, but nothing yet. What else are you guys thinking? Cage the Elephant's gonna be awesome. Churches, like this is gonna be such, I cannot wait until June. This is, I'm so hyped for this. Who else is hype? Give me a like if you're hype. Craig, you should do interviews throughout the campsites too. Okay, you know, so um, I didn't do that last year 
I was so last year I was really tied a lot of the time to um, the interviews with the talent. Obviously, I ventured out because that was my first time at Firefly last year, and it was so awesome. So I ventured out a few times here and there to like grab lunch and try to do some interviews with um, with the festival goers, but. My plan this year is to do a lot more because that is half of the experience is hanging out with you guys. And, you know, I, like I said, I was really um, uh, surprised at some of the stuff. Yeah, I mean, you guys are super creative and, you know, some of the stuff that you were doing was funny or fun or whatever. So, um my plan is to highlight some of the actual festi festival goers. I did not venture to the campsite, so I promise you, Craig, I will do that. Even if I have to come and find you, I will come and do that and interview you at your campsite. So just remind me um, or follow me on Facebook at Real Kyle McMahon and we'll, you know, um, work it out because, you know, we want wall-to-wall -wall coverage. It's such a unique thing. And for people who haven't come yet, I really want to show them what is what it's about because it's not just about the music i mean it it's it is about the music but it's not just about the music there's so much cool stuff going on with the vendors and you know the the little nooks that they have there was the reading nook that we hung out courtney lane what's up girl are you excited about firefly 2020 craig says agreed i could talk to someone in my group the big super camp we have 50 plus people wow Okay, awesome. Yeah, that would be sweet. Uh, and like I said, make sure to keep in touch with me and because that would be really cool to highlight you guys. I did a piece last year, one of the pieces I did, I did like 30 pieces from Firefly last year. Hey! Blink-182, isn't that awesome? Uh, so, so, Craig, to finish my thought with you, I one of the pieces that I did last year was on the community of Firefly and... You know, as I spoke before, Michael Greco and Jimmy, the, the, the Firefly fan page is so incredibly awesome that it needed to be highlighted, highlighted and it needs to continue to be highlighted because these folks in there are just awesome. Just they make you feel like family, so supportive of each other. People are like, I lost my phone. Somebody else is like, oh, I found one. Is this it? Let me find you. Somebody lost their money. People pulled together to bring that person money so they could get through or, you know, their car, their debit card or whatever. People like pulled together, you know, Venmo or whatever, so they could um, help out that person. Just like really awesome community. Greco, so, oh, okay, awesome, yeah, Gre he's, he is amazing, and he, um, that whole fan page is just awesome. Courtney is excited for Blink-182, who else are you excited for, Courtney Lane? I have announced 700 times, Courtney, that I am really, really, really hyped for Black Bear, one of my all-time favorites, and Diplo, one of my all-time favorites. I am so hyped that I just can't wait, and I said, Courtney, the thing that I... <laughs> The example that I use is I'm going to die when I see Diplo, but then I need to be revived because I'm going to see Black Bear and then I'm going to die. Again, because that's how excited I am. Um, uh, Run the Jewels is going to be awesome. RL Grime. I mean, I'm so hyped for so many of these. Cash Cash. Like, this is such a strong lineup. Khalid. Like, Khalid. What? Uh, this is just incredible. They have Bryce Vine, like, this is, like, I'm just going to be busy the entire time. Neon Trees! Neon Trees! Who, who, how can you not be hyped for Neon Trees? Diplo, Churches, Black Bear, David Lee Roth for you Van Halen folk. Um, you know, that's an awesome throwback. I mean, there really, really, really is something for everybody. Courtney Lane, Cash Cash, me too. Churches, me too. KG Elephant, me too. Neon Trees, me too. Girl, we're gonna have fun this year. So once again, Tom, 92.9 Tom FM is the only station with your all access to Firefly 2020. So Joe Mascara says, even the undercard is amazing this year. It like real, right? It, like this lineup, they have really outdone themselves. Big boy, big boy, come on from Outcast. That is gonna be sweet. Courtney says, we need to eat those delicious donuts again. Yes, guys, I was on keto while I did um, Firefly last year. And uh, then 
Somebody turned me on to those donuts, which I did for a piece that I was doing in my coverage of Firefly. And oh boy, were they good. Like insanely good. We had the donuts and they had ice cream on them and then they put like fruity pebbles on them or something. Let's just say it was not keto friendly, but it was my belly friendly. So I, we will definitely be hitting that up, Courtney, every single day. Um, for coverage, I mean, of course. Uh, so what else you guys? Yeah, Joe, the undercard, like what? This is insane. The undercard is Awesome. They they really, really, really have done an amazing job this year. They've outdone themselves. I am so hyped for Firefly 2020. And it's June 18th to June 21st at the Woodlands in Dover, Delaware. And tickets go on sale this Friday at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. So you can go to fireflyfestival.com and sign up for their uh, pre-sale. And then you will get the first notification of um, when tickets go on sale. So, you you know, there's no forgetting. Like, you are in it. You are in there. Get your credit card ready, and you will get your tickets. Four days again this year. I'm really excited about that. Four days of awesome music, awesome people, awesome food, awesome vendors. Like, it's just, if you haven't been to Firefly, and as I said, last year was my first year at Firefly, it is a unique experience and it's all about the community um just the people are incredible the lineup this year and, and you know has really outdone itself i love meeting the people that they're like you know i made so many friends there which was awesome it's just a really 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 good time so i have now been live for 45 minutes i don't know how i did it but uh, every time I say I'm going off, the numbers start spiking. So I'm going to say this time I'm going off again. Um, but keep the conversation, and now we're spiking in viewers again. Keep the conversation going in the comments. Uh, and, you know, let's discuss. Let me know when you get your tickets. Uh, to come see us. We'll be roaming around. Hit us up on social at 92.9 Tom FM, or I'm at Real Kyle McMahon on Facebook. I'm at KMac Music on Twitter and Insta. And um, hit us up. Let me know where you are. We can say hi, get a photo. Um, maybe I'll interview you for some coverage that we're doing. We're going to be doing wall to wall coverage of Firefly 2020. I'm really, really, really hype for this year. I cannot stress that enough. What's up, Nick Allison's Reedy? What's up, man? Who are you excited for? You're going to be the last person I talk to, and then I got to go because I have been live for 47 minutes now. Who are you excited for? See, every time I say I'm getting off of this, the numbers start spiking. Now we're at 27 when we were just at 13. Now we're at 28. I think face whenever I say I'm getting off, Facebook is like, oh, he's finally getting off. Let's send it to more people. So, Nick, who are you hyped to see, bro? I, I, what else do you guys, what else are you guys thinking? Who's getting up, well, or you might already be up at 10 a.m., but who is ready for the pre-sale? The public on sale starts Monday, so make sure that you sign up for the pre-sale on uh, fireflyfestival.com. You will get early access to tickets, and then the public pre-sale, again, goes on sale um, Monday at 10 a.m., so... Do yourself a favor, go to fireflyfestival.com and sign up for that pre-sale. You will get your tickets on Friday. All right, I really am heading off this time. It's been an awesome time talking with you guys. Again, we will have all of your Firefly 2020 coverage. I'll be interviewing a ton of the artists that are performing this year. So make sure you tune out, tune in for that. Last year, um, a bunch of the interviews that I did, the videos are up on our Facebook. Go to videos. You'll see Kyle at Firefly or something like that. And all the videos are there. Or my show, Pop Culture Weekly, which you can get on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcast that has tons of Firefly coverage. Um, my blog on, on Tom, 92.9tomfm.com. Courtney's blog. We're going to have wall-to-wall Firefly coverage leading up to June 20, uh, June 18th through June 21st. I am so hype. Thank you all for hanging out with me. I've really had a good time with you. We're going to do this again very soon. Peace. We out.